beaches, the line between the two most extensive ecosystems of planet Earth. While we humans love to go swimming and use it for our enjoyment, for many, it's home and or livelihood. It's time to start paying it a little respect, for its wonders are far too numerous for the human mind to behold. From the newest aquatic creature beach swarm to the world's oldest message in a bottle, you won't believe what they found on these 15 beaches. It releases toxins as it dies, and you're obviously smelling it right now. <laughs> Number 15. Red King Crab Foraging The famed Red King Crab is cherished for its massive size and delectable taste. Do you know how they're collected? As they're called, crab foragers are master crab hunters and can find them amongst their hidden locations in plain sight. Red King Crabs are covered with a spiny exoskeleton that provides protection from potential predators. Humans are not one of the predators that mine the spines. At different stages of its life, they're preyed upon by different species, anything from fish, octopus, and even some marine mammals. It all depends on the age of the crab, which determines the shell's toughness. While they're numerous in the ocean, they'll often turn to cannibalism to survive if they can't find food. Mostly omnivores, they'll eat just about anything, dead or decaying, organic matter, plant or animal. Basically, they'll eat whatever they can get their claws on. The exoskeleton does not expand and therefore individuals must shed their outer shell to grow any larger. This process, called molting, begins building a new, larger skeleton inside the existing one. The inside shell has grown large enough that it'll begin to crack and peel away as the older one and the new one hardens. Its shell is exceptionally soft during this hardening, so predators often look for this moment to strike. Red king crabs are decapod crustaceans that are closely related to hermit crab. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, dead starfish swarms. It's not unusual for strong currents to wash up large quantities of creatures, especially if they're forced to shallow waters for food. Seeing the event happen with starfish, on the other hand, is something brand new. While starfish obviously wash up on shore from time to time, never in a swarm like this, as mentioned earlier, experts believe scarce food in their typical ecosystem has forced them into shallower waters. A recent storm surge has washed thousands of them up onto the shore. Once stranded on land, their fates are sealed. Don't worry about their numbers though, even one starfish can lay over a million larvae, so it can repopulate the loss of population reasonably quick. It's heartbreaking, it's absolutely devastating. Number 13. The Garfield Phones The ocean is a strange place, but to send us Garfield phones from the abyss? What's up with that? Believe it or not, the tale stretches as far back as the 1980s when the first wave of the cartoon Tabby Cat phones first washed ashore, and they are still washing up today. Granted, much slower than before, but nonetheless still pretty crazy. For years, the bright orange phones and pieces have been washing onto the coast of Britain and France. 30 years to be more precise. In the 1980s, a freight ship carrying a container of phones ran into some trouble. It ended up dumping many of the contents of its load into the ocean. Three of those containers were packed full of cat phones. Experts believe tens of thousands of the phones were wasted, with a few thousand still remaining on the bottom of the ocean somewhere. As the ocean churns and kicks up new objects, it spits out one of these phones every once in a while. It's become a hilarious local joke. However, environmentalists aren't too keen on the idea that thousands of pounds of plastics still remain. Number 12. Salvaging of the Napoli Somewhere in the southwest, hidden from the public eye, are the most infamous motorbikes in Britain. After being forced to ground, the cargo ship MSC Napoli, just off the coast of Devon at the time, lost 103 containers as she crashed through storming waves. After a few weeks in Branscombe, most of the cargo washed ashore, sparking one of the biggest wrecking incidents to hit the news in recent years. Of course, the value of what's in those containers widely differed. The most valuable item were 17 new BMW bikes, all in one shipping container. Two bikes vanished after arriving on land, as if out of thin air. Two were seized by local law enforcement, and the remaining 13 are still with the salvagers, concealed and theirs to own until legal ownership is finally resolved with proof. Man. A salvager's job is pretty cool. They get to swim around the oceans looking for sunken cargo. And when that cargo goes unclaimed, it's all theirs. There is a window in which all can fight the ownership, of course. 
Number 11. Giant Pacific Football Fish What the heck just washed up on shore now? Mother Nature has graced us with the appearance of yet another one of our horrifying sea monsters. Dubbed the football fish for obvious reasons, these deep-sea dwelling creatures are as bizarre as they are football-shaped. Typically located thousands of feet under the surface of the ocean, this nightmare-inducing beast is terrifying. Its midnight black coloring allows for it to swim with near invisibility in the deep. Those hundreds of razor-sharp teeth are telling about this monster's bite as well. To see an actual anglerfish intact is rare, and researchers have no idea how it ended up on shore. It didn't have any marks to appear a fight or flight scenario. It was majorly intact. Due to the creature's size and the protruding stalk on the top of the head, state park officials said it's a female. Number 10. North Korean Ghost Ships It's no wonder thousands of ghost stories came from this tale. For years, no one could solve why dozens of trodden wooden ghost boats accompanied by starved fishermen's corpses, sometimes even skeletons, were washing ashore along the coast of Japan. A recent investigation into the matter has revealed a troubling truth. While still horrifyingly inhumane, the whole paranormal aspect gets thrown out the window. The truth is that China is sending a hidden fleet of industrial boats to illegally fish in North Korean waters. These massive shipping boat-sized fishing boats force out the poor wooden fishermen boats for fear of being run over. The year's long theft of China is leading to a decline in a once abundant aquatic stock of fish that many needed for their livelihood. The fishermen washing up in Japan apparently ventured out too far from the shore, searching for more fish without competition from the massive vessels. Unable to navigate the deep seas in such a little boat, these fishermen often end up stranded without food or water and perish. Eventually, the waves make their way to Japan, pushing the farmers' bodies there with them. Number 9. Stunningly Preserved Giant Squid Talk about a fantastic discovery. As you may know, it's already infrequent to find a living giant squid in the ocean, but to find one beached, well, that's history. The incredible 13.7-foot-long deep-sea alpha predator was discovered on the beach along Britannia Bay in southwest South Africa. The creature had been remarkably preserved, offering researchers a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get an up-close and personal look. Beachgoers discovered the creature and immediately alerted authorities, who were quick to arrive onto the scene. The pedestrian that captured the footage says that the creature was still alive when he arrived. Its tentacles were still flailing about in a flight-or-fight type motion, grasping at anything around it. It was dying, and there was nothing he could do about it without putting himself into harm's way, so the creature was just too massive and powerful. It was removed and properly disposed of without further incident. Number 8. Toxic Algae Swarms Florida Florida, hate to be the bearer of bad news again, but you're forced to deal with more horrors. The green slime that washed onto Florida beaches marks the eighth time since 2004 that toxic algae have soured the Sunshine State's storied coastline. In fact, the blooms of 2013 were so severe the event became known as the Toxic Summer and appears this could be Florida's new norm. Outbreak after outbreak, algae blooms have invaded delicate estuaries on both coasts, forcing Florida to declare a state of emergency in four counties. The toxic sludge has killed fish, shellfish, and at least one manatee. Humans that touch it are sickened. It's a severe issue. Harmful algae blooms occur when colonies of algae, simple organisms that live in all types of water, grow out of control while producing toxic or harmful effects on other life. If untamed, it'll start to creep into the atmosphere, harming land animals and birds that often drink or bathe in the water. This has become a far-reaching and heavily impacted natural incident with ramifications down the line that are unclear. It eventually receded, but the trends of its occurrence is increasing in frequency. Human illness caused by the toxins from algae, though, are rare, can be debilitating or even fatal. So it's no joke. While the common term for these blooms is red or green tides, scientists prefer the more descriptive harmful algal bloom. Not all algae are bad, and it takes quite a bit of uncontrolled growths to occur before it becomes toxic. If dense enough, the air around the area could even be challenging to breathe in. Number 7. The Tijipiter Blocks Created at a plantation in Indonesia, more than a century ago, these bizarre rubber-like blocks, with the word Tijipiter etched into them, mysteriously washed up on beaches across Wales. Tijipiter is the name of an early 20th century rubber plantation. The tablets are made from the sap of the local Gouda Percha tree, a tropical tree native to Asia and northern Australia. For the past few years, the blocks have been appearing on shores and across much of northern Europe. 
Why, after all these years, did the ocean start spitting these blocks out when there hadn't been one produced in over a decade? That's still the mystery. On the other hand, where they originated is apparent when looking into shipping documents. Records prove a container ship full of these rubber blocks had crashed, dumping its contents into the ocean. For years, they floated in the water, and they started moving together in currents and eventually made it to shore. It just took a darn century to get there. Number 6. Muscle Invasion Oh man, run from these muscles. Okay, some of you are probably grabbing grocery baskets instead. As you might have guessed, it was a bit of a shock for locals living in South Africa's Platenburg Bay when they awoke to find their typically gorgeous beaches covered with thousands upon thousands of mussels. It's certainly not the first time the world has seen this phenomenon, especially recently. While they may occur often, they don't do in such numbers. The number of mussels that washed ashore that day was uncountable. Scientists offer several theories to explain the sudden mussel mystery. While they've theories, none have assembled a complete picture. Although the wash-up was first attributed to the fear-mongering destructive algal blooms referred to as red tide, most experts doubt its validity. According to South African National Park's marine ecologist, the event was most likely the result of a large ocean swell. If you start to get very dense beds of mussels, a strong sea can potentially rip off large mats of them, he explains. These things are so numerous they're being compared to carpet. Most of the mussels were still alive when they washed ashore, pointing to the sudden ripping theory. The red tide would have killed most of the mussels, so that theory moves toward the bottom of the list. Number 5. Mysterious Air Force Drone Oh, that's where that drone went. If a drone goes missing and crashes into the ocean, it's pretty much toast. If you're lucky, the GPS system remains intact. Still, since water utterly destroys electronics and effectively blocks signals, there's little chance of finding one once it goes down. That is, of course, unless the ocean decides to spit it back out, which it did just a few months ago. Beachcombers in southeast Florida got a surprise when the tide revealed a 20-foot aerial target drone used by the U.S. Air Force. Quickly pulling it out of the water, they contacted authorities, and the drone was part of the Air Force's weapon system evaluation program, which employs a squadron of drones to continuously scan for threats. What those threats are, however, is unclear. It was quickly recovered by the Air Force and never posed a threat to the public save for some swimmer swimming into it. Lieutenant Savannah Bray, spokeswoman for the U.S. Air Force's 53rd Wing, told CNN that the drone is a subscale target drone explicitly used for training exercises and is utilized across the entirety of the military. The drones are used to test weapon systems and train fighter pilots during live fire exercises, allowing them to simulate real-time dogfighting for the pilot experience. Pretty cool, right? Number 4. World's Oldest Message in a Bottle Many may think the message in a bottle thing was a tool of fiction, but the truth is the opposite. While a woman strides along her daily walk around the West Australian sand dunes, she happened onto a peculiar thing, a bottle with a letter stuck inside. She, like most, just thought it would be something silly or trash, but what she found shocked her. Taking it home and drying the contents in the oven revealed an exciting piece of human history, finally brought to light by remarkable chance. Experts have confirmed it's an authentic message from a German warship during World War I. The bottle's note was dated June 12, 1886, and mentions being jettisoned from the German ship Paula as part of an experiment into ocean and shipping routes by the German Naval Observatory. They're still washing ashore today, so who knows what's out there just waiting to be read. How long had this letter aimlessly floated at sea? What else is still out there? And what could it reveal? Number 3. Ancient Viking Sword Imagine pulling an ancient piece of warfare from the ocean. Would you believe you had just found something unique or some fantasy toy lost some time ago? Before tossing it back into the ocean, you might want to check if it's some fantastic piece of history, if not priceless. While on a family swimming trip at the nearby lake, an eight-year-old Swedish-American girl happened upon an incredible find, an ancient Viking sword that dated around 4 to 5 AD. It was just sitting down there all the time. Gets those childish treasure hunter fantasies going, doesn't it? When it was first discovered and brought to a museum for investigation, the family knew they had discovered something extraordinary from the facial expression the researchers gave them. At first sight, he dated the sword at least a thousand years old. Still, with some more in-depth investigation and scientific dating processes applied, it was later confirmed to originate around the dates mentioned above. If a little girl can pull the discovery of her life out from the lake, so can you. Sometimes it all lies in the imagination the motivation for even taking the first step. 
there's always more to discover and anyone can discover it, as exemplified by this eight-year-old in this topic. Number two, Washington State Ancient Driftwood. Holy crap, that is a big piece of driftwood. More than 200 feet long and 13 feet in diameter, this massive western red cedar tree is one for the books. Driftwood this size is actually classified as drift logs, and rightfully so. To be fair, along the coast of La Push, you'll find tons of driftwood just like these. Because of the surrounding red cedar forest, they're often falling from cliffs and edges into the ocean and are carried back to shore with the tide. The shores look a bit alien because of this, like dead bodies littering an otherwise serene vista. Whether the trees just get old or succumb to the intense gales of a storm, this cycle of breaking and washing has been occurring far longer than documented incidents. Needless to say, standing next to one of those behemoths still offers some fantastic, Instagram-worthy photos. Number 1. Incredible Endangered Turtle Nests Tortoises are one of the most impressive and ancient creatures on our planet. For example, the rhinoceros leatherback turtle can grow four times bigger than the average giant tortoise. While they exist, they're incredibly rare. So rare, in fact, that the recent sighting of one laying on eggs on a beach in broad daylight has experts floored at the possibility. That is out of trend for them in so many ways. First is the daylight, which turtles usually avoid. Why now? Why this time? These turtles avoided humans as best they could for hundreds if not thousands of years. Yet here they are beaching themselves and laying their eggs amidst the populated chaos of swim beaches. I mean, their behavior has flipped 180 and all without researchers ever getting a hint it was coming. Experts hope the occurrence will happen more often to provide a better look and understanding of the fascinating creatures. Unfortunately, the signs point in the other direction, one of dire survival behavior. In other words, these turtles are doing everything at all costs to preserve their species from extinction. While leatherbacks are the biggest and rarest of all known turtles, they aren't the only species exhibiting strange new nesting processes. Are these poor turtles out of options? No matter the day, the ocean will probably spit something out fascinating. It's so large, so old, and so mysterious that it can't help but to. If you ever feel the world growing darker or that everything has already been discovered, turn your sights to the wonderful ocean which always has a surprise in store. Today it might be the same, but tomorrow it's a new sea monster. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our lit content delivered right to your inbox.